Hello guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial on how to make the Super Mario Runner. So, in today's video, we will finish the game by adding obstacles, enemies, and a death animation like that. And we'll also add score. Okay. Okay, so, let's make it. Let's get started. So, in here we have what we got from the previous part. We've got the home screen, We've got the music, and press space to play, and then press space or up arrow key to jump. Okay, so now let's make the obstacles moving. So. But you know, when I receive reset, we'll hide, and then when I receive play, we'll delete all the clones, so delete this clone, and then put in a when I receive play, forever. You'll switch costume to pick random one to two, which is the pipe or the goomba. And then we will wait, pick random zero point five to two seconds, and then will create clone of myself so when i start as a clone you will set size to 400 and then we'll show and then we'll put in an if else statement so if costume number equals one then we will go to x 300 and y negative 30 so, yeah there and then else if it is the goomba then we'll put the y to negative 40 and then we'll set the size back to 100 and then forever Forever, we'll set the size to 400 and then you'll put in an if else costume number equals 1 then we'll put in a change x by negative 5 else we'll change x by negative 6 and of course we'll set the size back to 100 and then now we'll put in an if x position is less than negative 300 then we'll delete this clone okay so now let's test it okay so now the obstacles are moving very good and it's always cool. And um, yeah, in the Mario sprite, we'll just add a go to front layer when I receive play here, just to make it cool. And we'll now animate the Goomba. So we'll put in a when I start as a clone forever if costume number equals two then we'll put in a switch costume to Goomba Goomba two and then you'll wait zero point one seconds 
and we'll switch costume to Goomba and then we'll wait 0.1 seconds okay now let's test it so now it's Goomba and it's animating nicely so now let's make a death animation for Mario make it die so to make it we'll go to the obstacle sprite and then we'll put in an if if touching Mario then we'll just broadcast a new message named die that and put it right under the set size to 100 and then go back to Mario make it here so, when I receive die we will stop our scripts in sprite we will go to front layer and we'll switch costume to die and then we will simply set y velocity to 18 and then put in a forever loop we'll change y velocity by negative 1.5 and we'll change y by y velocity that and then if if y position is less than negative 179 then you'll wait one second broadcast reset and it'll stop the script okay so and before we go anywhere yeah just like that and oh yeah in here we'll put in a when i receive die we'll put in a stop other scripts in sprite and do the same for the obstacles that and now if we play and see death animation and go back to this home screen okay so now let's make the score and yeah score okay so before we put the score we will make a speed that will increase by time so let's make it right here so, when I receive play, I'll make a new variable naming it speed for all sprites. Set speed to negative 5, and then forever, we'll wait 3 seconds, and then we'll repeat 5, change speed by negative 0 0.5 and then go to the ground sprite and then instead of changing the x position by negative 5 you'll change x by speed do the same thing for the um, obstacles but for the goomba you'll make it like you'll times it by negative by 1.2 like that and then change x by speed by speed times 1.2 okay clean up everything and it should work so by time the speed will will go up see negative 7.5 
oh um not 0.5 negative 0 0.1 okay that and then we'll see that is see it increases the speed and you'll see it if you play it longer See, it increases the speed. So uh, now let's make the score. So in here, when the when green flag get broadcast reset, we will also make a new variable naming it score all sprites, and the score will be a large readout. Put it on the top corner. So, in the one green flag clicked, we'll high variable score and so when I receive play, we will first show the variable score and set score to zero. That. And then you'll put in a wait 0 0.1 seconds right here, and then we'll change score by one like that. So now we test it, it hides at first, and then we get the score like that. And see it. Wait, maybe if it's wait 0 0.1 seconds. Oh yeah, that's more accurate there. 0 0.1, 0 0.1 seconds. So, uh, that is the end of this series. So, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, um, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!